After almost two centuries of railway history, with numerous revolutionary innovations and developments in technology, today's engineers are concentrating mainly on developing and improving details. For example, increasing the axle load in heavy haul and the speed of passenger traffic. In particular, the track plays a substantial part, as it has to be adapted to the increased demand. Despite the stormy and speedy development of the railways in the 19th century, trains had to travel slowly and noisily over the rail joints. During this period, the chemist Hans Goldschmidt experimented and conceived a revolutionary method for joining rails by welding. The thermit process was thus invented, which is utilized all over the world, enabling higher speeds and levels of ride comfort to be achieved. The success of the thermit process worldwide has, to a large extent, been due to the strategy of establishing technical development and support in close association with railway customers. Improved rail steels, a multitude of rail profiles, and a wide range of thermit processes demand continuous research and development. Head-hardened rails possess a substantially higher hardness in the rail head than in the web and base as shown by the black curve. The blue curve shows that the standard thermit weld has a uniform hardness. With the high performance weld, a hardness distribution is obtained which compares with the head hardened rail itself. In other words, high hardness in the head, low in the web and base. These requirements encouraged electrothermit engineers, who are continuously seeking improvement, to achieve the characteristics of the rail, in other words, a highly wear-resistant head and a soft and ductile web and base in a weld made in one cast without post-heat treatment. Now, the solution. The secret of the high-performance weld is hidden in this small metal container. Welding is performed in the same way as with the SKV process. The equipment and operational steps are mainly identical. But what happens inside? First, let's follow the operations in real time. Now in slow motion. In the beginning, the liquid steel is diverted by the plug to both sides and flows via risers to the rail base. The rail gap starts to be filled. The metal container melts, the alloy inside mixes with the liquid thermit steel exclusively in the area of the rail head. What did we achieve? Quite simple. The weld in the area of the rail head and in the area of the web and base now possess the same characteristics as the rail, however, without the need for additional time-consuming heat treatment. All other operations are performed according to our qualified SKV process. The welders don't have to get used to new operational steps, with the advantage of eliminating faulty execution. More good news. With the high-performance weld, it's no longer necessary to store various grades of thermit portions. To weld the various rail grades, four different portions are required when welding according to the SKV process. Whereas only one single portion and four plugs adapted to the rail grade are required when applying the high-performance welding process. One century after the discovery of the aluminothermic effect by Hans Goldschmidt, 
the high-performance weld is revolutionizing aluminothermic welding. Indeed, it's the next generation.